everyone welcome to a special vlog quarantine edition so well, almost quarantine because i still go to work because i am a personal care assistant for four disabled lovely ladies that share home together through the company i work at and so i have to go to work take care of them feed them bathe them all that stuff and i obviously grocery shopping to make sure i stay stocked up on food and you know all the necessities but other than that home the home life um so i decided to do a little special light-hearted quarant quarantine vlog i just got home from work that's why I'm in my car looking a little raunchy i'm gonna go in get some breakfast and i have an appointment after that with my therapist a remote appointment with my therapist because of the coronavirus she's doing remote appointments available so yeah all you haters who are like oh you see a therapist yes i do because mental health is real just important physical health so i do see a therapist no shame and i'm excited for my appointment so and then after that we'll see what the day will bring so welcome to my vlog let's go have some fun <laughs> take the little dude out to go potty for the morning. He was in sleeping with daddy. Come on. Oh yeah, you want to say hi? Oh, mommy loves you. Yeah, mommy loves you. Oh, good boy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go potty. Let's go potty and then we'll get some breakfast. It snowed a little bit. Barely, but it snowed. Most of it's well, the roads are completely clear, but the grass isn't. Come on. He hates snow. <laughs> Don't go in the cornfield, buddy. Hey. He, for some reason, loves the cornfield. I don't know why. Oh, we got pee. Yeah, we have a cornfield right next to our, right next to our house. So. <laughs> So I do every day, this is something I do, I do have this 365 day Doug the Bug calendar that I change and so I will look at see today. That's so cute. Hey everyone, so I just finished my online appointment with my therapist. It went amazing. She's getting used to everyone being online now that the coronavirus is a big thing and everybody is you know taking the correct safety precautions um my dog almost hung up the call by just putting his head on the keyboard but um i'm gonna check on what blake's doing because i've been on my appointment for about an hour and do some cleaning and get up the heated blanket that my future mother-in-law gave me it's making it too comfortable but gotta get up and do something so one thing I always do is turn on my candle warmer. This is my main one. Um, I have some scentsies that are right around the house, but I'm gonna put my candle warmer on right now. And I'm feeling this marshmallow peppermint I got from um, Yankee Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to clean out this dishwasher and check out the cooking because, you know, I gotta, Okay, that was clean, so I'm gonna put these away. So yesterday I made this sign, this letter board. It actually said, happy birthday, queen of cakes, because my sister, her nickname is Cake, and it was her birthday, well, a week ago, and I did a little celebration for her yesterday. And um, my roommates and my cousins messed around with it, so I'm actually gonna just change it to a full icon on the pantry when I get out my messy bag. One thing I, I love these letter boards, but they're like so it takes such a long while to like, especially if you have a nice long quote, but I love them. So, you know, you know it's cheap and it's cute and I love hanging in the living room. Okay, let's uh, I don't even know what my Oh, okay, I need the, uh, okay. Oh, 
it's the end where I'm gonna end here. I don't wanna go yet. Again though. I can't remember. Oh, it's gonna take a while. So I finished the sign. It says do not compare your behind the scenes to people's sneak peeks. Kinda like, you know, comparing all your dirty stuff that you see. You know, you see yourself every day to other people's, you know, just little previews you see of them on social media and when you meet with them for coffee or stuff. So, it's good not to compare yourself. Um, and now I'm going to turn on my coffee maker, my Keurig. It's my lifesaver and I'm going to make some grilled cheese and tomato soup. Can't find the butter. Oh my gosh. I, uh, sorry, we had a bunch of boys over yesterday. Well, not a bunch of boys. Just, like, three boys. And they made a bunch of food, so our kitchen's a little messy. I'm gonna have to go through and re-clean it, stay and sanitize, and I don't want to all the food. So, um, our pantry is a little bit messy. Um, we started with a bunch of stuff. Pop that bread that I'm in love with. I love these loved ones. Um, in love with oatmeal, maple brown sugar, um, of course. My K cups, um, pumpkin spice still. I slowly been eating those. I'm drinking those. <laughs> but I'm saving up some stuff. Being smart, you know. Got myself a nice cup of coffee, watching Harry Potter. I'm on the third one right now, Prisoner of Azkaban. About halfway through. Um, I started earlier and now finishing it. Uh, so, you know, might as well make the best of the sticky situation, have a little Harry Potter kind of slow marathon. You know, gotta love me the magical world. Toast to that. Ezra being King of Blake. <laughs> you King of Blake, huh? You be touching daddy by, you know, standing on him? Yeah? Hey everyone, it's been a few hours. Blake and I watched some Harry Potter. I updated my calendar that's on the fridge. Um, so Blake and I can communicate kind of my work schedule. I washed the dishes. And now I am going to take little dude for a nice little walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. First, before we leave, I got this for a dollar at Target. It's where I hang his harness and leash. It is the cutest thing. Only for a dollar at Target. Couldn't resist. Okay, oh, 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 okay. Oh, gotta make sure the door's closed, buddy. Okay, let's go. This way, buddy. Hey. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Where you going, buddy? He is on a mission. <laughs> oh, you gotta pee. Yeah, I gotta do. Oh, you gotta look your tongue while doing your business. Okay, come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah. See, all the snow already melted. It's about last night as I was going to work. At like 9 and it already melted. That's it. You're getting tangled, buddy. You goof. Hey, everyone. So, I am in my bathroom. Um, about to take a bath. With the jet and use this lovely pink sugar bath bomb, my aunt and Beth. Love you, girl. Gave me. I don't know if you got it, but it smells really good and I'm excited. So I'm going to do a nice little bath with the jet. I'm tired of relaxed. I'm also going to later do this pumpkin spice face mask. This pumpkin has super rejuvenating powers and, and cinnamon, oak, 
and neutralizes oily skin. So I'm going to give it a try. Okay, that was a little bit more as I kind of mimic than I thought. Hey everyone, so I'm going to do these pumpkin spice face masks. I got it for a couple dollars at hy -Vee. Um, Apparently pumpkin and cinnamon are really good for your skin to rejuvenate your complexion and help with oily skin and stuff. So I cleaned and dried my skin already, put mask on, leave. 15 20 minutes, no rinsing, no rinsing necessary. Oh my gosh, this smells good. Esther's like looking at me like, Mom, what do you have? Oh my gosh, this is so slobbery. Ezra, uh uh. This is so slobbery. But I wanted to talk while I did this about some real life coronavirus stuff going on um I really feel like it's been all over the news and everything and I feel like it needs to be brought up to our attention especially since this video is a quarantine vlog um I really feel like it's just a good thing to Alexa turn off alarm sorry my metal alarm I'm about to do that after this um what are we doing? Hmm. But like, it's something that I think people didn't take serious at first. Um, and now people are starting to take serious, which is a good thing. But like, I still feel like I see, I saw some Snapchats or stories on Instagram of apparently people are still taking their dogs to the dog park, still going out, doing all this stuff, and it's like, especially the younger people who are like, oh, it doesn't really affect us younger people, you know, it's whatever, but you're a carrier, and you can spread it to the older people, like your grandma, your mom, um, I am saying this because I just got the phone with both of my grandparents, um, Sorry, my dog is like wanting to get this mask. Um, and it's just, it's like, I feel because like they're high risk for it and I don't want to give it to them. Like if I end up getting it, like I don't want to, you know, spread it around. So that's why I'm staying home besides work and school, not work and school, work and going to the grocery store. Because I don't want to give it to other people. I don't want to give it to my friend, to my mom, to, you know, anybody else I can go visit. Like, my niece. Like, I wanted to visit her, but, like, I'm not doing that anymore. My eyebrows look ratchet right now with this face mask on. So, like, I'm staying home and preventing that. Like, using hand sanitizer, washing my hands, you know, all this stuff. Being very extra precautious. Like, I'm washing my hands so I should say more than normal. Because just to be on the safe side. Like, you know, um and everything because this is this is a serious thing like they don't close places down and send kids not have kids go to school for no reason like my friend her senior recital and senior year of college and music therapy is ruined because her last semester is ruined from all the hard four years of work she did because of this coronavirus um and it breaks my heart. My two cousins aren't able to have their junior prom. Um, like, it's just, it's, it's a lot. And we just really need to be safe and be thinking of others, too. And, you know, take as much precautions as possible. Um, you know, if you're starting to show symptoms, get tested, be smart, you know. Be considerate, be safe. We don't want anyone 
we want to cut this off as quickly as possible with as least damage as possible and so we can get back to life and we can hopefully nip this in the butt um I really and my heart goes out for those who are affected by it who have loved ones that passed from it who have it and are you know, dealing with all the pain and being quarantined for two weeks, you know, I, my heart goes out to you guys. And I pray that all of you that are well, stay well. I really do. So I finished my face mask and it was so rejuvenating, but now I am making myself some coffee to sit and relax and just kind of chill. You know, gotta keep myself awake because it's barely going on dinner time. So right now I am watching Spies in Disguise with Will Smith and Tom Holland. And it is actually really cute and funny. I think it's adorable. A good family little movie. Um, two of the YouTubers I like, Jess and Gabriel Conti, look them up. They uh, have a line voiceover that they did in this movie, so that's why I originally rented it, because they put it on their story that their voiceover went in. So I'm looking out for them with my trusty sidekick, Ezra. So I'm in the store, and they put it Very stocking a bunch of stuff, but it's so strange. Hey, she got some cleaning supplies. Because you need some good cleaner right now. Yes, I'm wearing gloves. Don't be don't be hating, but you know. It's getting serious around here. Ooh. This is like good stuff. Hey, I stock up on my yogurt. I'm trying to get so I don't have to come back for at least two weeks. I eat so much of this yogurt. It's my obsession. Greek Dan and Fit. Oh, so good. My favorite kind is the pumpkin pile, but they don't have it. So I've been stocking up on one of my second favorites. Lots of fun. That's strawberry cheesecake. But they're kind of and bad. Like, look at the whole bottom shelf. Dunzo. Hey, so before I, I had to put this in here. If you ever want to find cheap, amazing, well, mostly amazing, like, selection of candles, go to Dollar Tree. Like, it's honestly, like, a little hidden gem to find good candles there. I went there today and found some I have to show you guys. Banana walnut bread. Mmm, so excited to burn it. Um... I couldn't decide there were so many. Apple crumble. Oh, look how cute this is. Boy like cupcake thing. Mm, so, so good. And then they had three that I couldn't decide up from this kind of like brand. Soy candle. It's a soy candle from Fresh Pick Candles Company. Um, there was donut, cake, and ice cream. And I picked donut. Okay, I just give one a try. It smells like Sunday morning. It makes me so happy. No donuts at church. And then this one, salted caramel from Old Williamsburg. Mmm. I could, there was a couple more. There was another, um, there was a couple other ones that I wanted to decide. But I decided just to get four for now. You know, I have a candle warmer. 
one candle warmer and two candle scentsies. So I have wanted to, since I'm home with, you know, this whole isolation, self-socialization, you know, virus stuff, I figured I might as well get some new candles to make my house smell good. So, COVID, that's the word I'm looking for, not just virus. But since, you know, kind of on quarantine, I think it might make my house smell good. So, yeah. Hey, so before I, I had to put this in here. If you ever want to find cheap, amazing, well, mostly amazing, like, selection of candles, go to Dollar Tree. Like, it's honestly, like, a little hidden gem to find good candles there. I went there today and found some I have to show you guys. Banana walnut bread. Mmm, so excited to burn it. Um, I couldn't decide there were so many. Apple crumble. Oh, look how cute this is. Boy, like cupcake thing. Mmm, so, so good. And then they had three that I couldn't decide on from this kind of like brand. Soy candle, it's a soy candle from Fresh Pick Candles Company. Um, there was donut, cake, and ice cream, and I picked donut. Three, I just give one a try. It smells like Sunday morning, it makes me so happy. No donuts at church. And then this one, salted caramel from Old Williamsburg. Mmm. I can, there was a couple more. There was another, um, there was a couple other ones that I wanted to decide, but I decided just to get four for now. You know, I have a candle warmer, one candle warmer and two candle scentsies. So I have wanted to, since I'm home with, you know, this whole isolation, self-socialization, you know, virus stuff, I figured I might as well get some new candles to make my house smell good. So. COVID, that's the word I'm looking for, not just virus. But since, you know, kind of on quarantine, I think it might as well make my house smell good. So, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Sorry I fell asleep. Um, Ezra and I are outside. He's going potty. Um, I fell asleep last night. See? Oh, 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 dude. Um... I just wanted to come on and end this vlog saying thank you for watching. Um, but first I wanted to touch base on some things with all the quarantine and, you know, all the stress going on that we've been talking about with the virus and influenza and states going on lockdown and all this stuff, financial issues because people are losing their job. I just thought it would be important to touch base on some things you can do to really help because especially mental health is something we need to really keep an eye on these next few weeks and maybe even month and months or just depending on how things go because mental health is real and important just like physical health so making sure like for me like in this vlog you take a bubble bath you do face mask you you know maybe watch a funny movie or do a guilty pleasure like making yourself a batch of cookies and eating a couple cookies because you know yolo life's short um you know doing something that just makes you happy uh if you're an artist getting that sketch pad out and starting to sketch again in your free time you know if you're a dancer clear some space in your bedroom and dance it that nobody's watching uh, do something to help you because that's important especially in this time of crisis Read your Bible if you're religious. Um, watch online sermons. You know, still keep in contact with your loved ones because depression can set in and get really big and bad. So using FaceTime, the WhatsApp app, uh, Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, even just voice calling and saying, hey, I love you. I called both of my grandparents yesterday. So just keeping an eye on doing that. Um, I love you guys. Stay safe, be smart, love you all. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a beautiful day.